The first time I went up to that observation area up there and looked out over the sea of, of white rooms, I was just blown away. I'm Muriel Bowser. I'm the mayor of Washington, D.C., and we are here today in the Walter E. Washington Convention Center. I've said before that we consider this site our insurance policy. Operating the facility will be done through a partnership between D.C. government, the United Medical Center, and MedStar Health. Patients who come here will be treated by MedStar doctors, nurses, and staff. When this pandemic began, we at MedStar Health knew that as the largest healthcare system in the capital region, we would have a major role to play. And when the time came to extend surge planning beyond the walls of the district's hospital, uh, it just made sense that we would step up to that challenge as well. This was a big deal today for the D.C. and federal government. D.C.'s COVID surge center is finished. The scale is massive. 437 rooms constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. It will have the capacity to be the third largest hospital in the district, and it will only treat COVID-19 patients and only those less serious patients who don't need a ventilator or intensive care unit. Well, it's hard to believe that it started only a month ago. MedStar Health was really in on the ground. Primarily and most importantly, we provided our people. Our people will be what make this center come to life. It is our physicians, it is our nurses, it is our therapists and a host of other caregivers and support services that will enable us to provide excellent care here at this site. This is one of the things you're going to remember for the rest of your life, helping the patients and the residents of the District of Columbia during a pandemic, which we have not seen in years and years and we'll probably never see again in our lifetime. I was honored when I received the call that I was asked to fulfill this role for this um, alternative care site. Um, a, a huge privilege on behalf of MedStar to fill this role. Um, somewhat humbled for sure, and then um, a huge responsibility to make sure that we set the environment up for the patient to be safe, the care team to be safe, then the training to make sure those, all those pieces match. I served in the U.S. Army for 20 years, but I'm not sure anything could quite prepare anyone for uh, the challenge of the COVID-19 pandemic. There was certainly a very much a operational and logistical challenge to the scope of the size of this that is very similar to a lot of military operations. So this is a typical patient room. Really remarkable to look at it and think that we're in the middle of a convention center because it looks pretty similar to a regular hospital room. It's 10 feet by 10 feet, which is good sized and has all the stuff you need to care for patients. It has a typical hospital bed instead of a Army cot, for instance, which is lower and less comfortable and makes it harder for nurses to care for patients. All the rooms have access to monitoring equipment. There's a set of lights here, including task lights and reading lights, uh, in addition to the lights of the facility. And here, uh, very importantly, we have oxygen that's plumbed in through pipes to be available for when patients need it to breathe. And then finally here, as a nice touch, we have artworks in each room in this facility donated by a local artist. When the district first came to us to talk to us about partnering with them on this alternate care site, it was both an obvious moment and also a proud leadership moment for MedStar Health. Um, it is a proud moment that we have the capacity and we have the infrastructure and we have the people to be able to support a really important community outreach program like this during a national pandemic. It's just been an absolutely awesome experience. Everybody cared about the staff that would be caring for these patients. That can be reflected by the wall that's out there where everybody signed. I thought that was a special touch um, that uh, everybody's in it for the same purpose, that we want to make sure they provide top care, compassionate care for the COVID-19 patients that might have to be treated here.